Okay, Keiko asked, what do you think about white privilege? I've talked about this before. I think it is a horrific concept. I, I, you know, I, I find it a disgusting concept, a racist concept. And so white privilege, privilege, the, the whole term privilege, means that you're getting some kind of special favor, that, the, that you're somehow in a, in a unique situation, and usually it's a government or, or a given favor. Uh, aristocrats have privilege, and that's where the word comes from. The privilege the aristocrats have, and government gives privilege to certain people to do certain things that it does not allow others to do. So, to the extent that that exists, that is bad. Privilege is bad. But that is not what they mean by white privilege. It means that you have some kind of privilege, some kind of advantage, because you're white. Now, advantage over what? Over other people, which assumes a zero-sum world. It assumes that it's all about relative advantages. Yes, yeah, some people do have advantages over others that have to do with the fact that they had loving parents or they had uh, more money or they're born with better genes or whatever. But so what? That doesn't give them privilege. They have more opportunities at any given point. They have certain advantages. So what? It's not a zero-sum world. Uh, somebody else's advantages don't come at my expense. Their advantages allow them to produce at a higher rate, which benefits everybody, including me. You don't measure yourself against other people. You measure against yourself against your own potential, your own values, your own life. So, now, there is a sense, there is something true about what they're trying to capture about white privilege. And that is that other people are disadvantaged for no reason of their own. They're disadvantaged because of racism. They're disadvantaged because their group has been discriminated against. And to some extent, that's true. To some extent, there's no question that is true. Some people are disadvantaged by that. But that doesn't mean I'm privileged because I don't share their disadvantage. So instead of making it my fault that the disadvantage, because it's not my fault, they want. So what the white privilege language is trying to do is to place guilt, collective guilt, on all people who happen to be white. Because the fact that they're white makes them co-conspirators in the disadvantage some other people have. But the fight should be not about privilege. There is no such thing. The fight should not be about the fact that certain people have advantages. But the fight should be about the disadvantages and getting rid of them. And if those disadvantages are functions of the law, then suddenly they should be gotten rid of. As the civil rights movement tried and to a large extent succeeded in doing. And then distorted the laws in ways that give people advantages that distort further or, or solidify racism in, in, uh, in substantial ways. But white privilege, there is, again, there's no such thing. So the focus should be on how do we get rid of the laws that discriminate against, and then if it's not legal, it's cultural, then how do we change the culture to make it a colorblind culture? How do we make the culture a culture that doesn't discriminate against gays or transgender or whatever? Right? How do we make it a culture that is not discriminating? But if I don't discriminate as an individual, the fact that some people in the culture do discriminate is not my fault. So instead of working to, to raise the people who are being discriminated against to, to, and to do away with discrimination overall, to eliminate discrimination, instead of working to do that, what those accusing people of white privilege are doing is they want to denounce, they want to put down, they want to, they want to make you feel guilty. And I see so many people using this privilege word. It's a horrible word. Horrible, horrible, horrible. You are not privileged if you have more opportunities. You're not privileged even if you have certain advantages. And of course, you're not privileged at the end of the day because you have to exercise your own free will in order to manifest your advantages, in order to manifest your skills, in order to make real your talents. They don't just manifest automatically. 
So the whole concept of white privilege is disgusting. It should be thrown out. You should never use it. I'm actually sympathetic to the people who claim there's, there's uh, discrimination in the world out there, that there's racism in the world out there. But then you have to define the problem for what it is and fight that problem. Not by guilting, not by using collective guilt. Not by blaming anybody based on the color of their skin. Which is just as racist. So you don't fight racism with racism. There's no such thing as any color privilege or any color anything. What we need to get away from is identification by color. Color of skin is meaningless. Color of your skin doesn't count for anything. Color of your skin should be insignificant. It's the content of your character, which you should be judged based on. And that is the positive message that needs to be articulated, not my color of the skin versus your color of skin, my color of the skin has privilege, your color of skin doesn't, da 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 That is just playing into the hands of the racists.